one day I just woke up and felt I had a slight sort of shadow um, on my left eyelid, really. The best way I can describe it is if you've got that sensation of having an eyelash that's loose, but it hasn't actually come out yet. So I kept tugging at my eyelashes thinking that I was going to get rid of this shadow, but it wouldn't go. And I was running around with my, my, my kids at the time. They were both preschool. Didn't think too much of it. Carried on with my day. But as the day went on, um, I noticed that there was the shadow had become more of a, a kind of a, a black spot, really. And when I focused on anything centrally in the center part of my vision it was all black so if I looked at a photograph for example of someone's face the middle of the face was completely black and I could only see the periphery so that was quite scary and as the day wore on that that black spot got bigger and bigger and bigger um I went to bed that night didn't really I didn't even tell my husband about it at the time to be honest I, I didn't know what what it was going on next morning I woke up and there was definite eye pain as well so when I looked to the left I looked to the right it, there was a real pain on moving my eyes so and the the black spot hadn't got any less it probably got a bit worse actually but um, I thought I had to do something about it. So I went to see the optician. I did a few tests. She was clearly quite worried. Um, I don't think she'd ever really assessed anybody with that before. And she sent me straight to the eye hospital. They did more tests um, and then basically didn't really give me any sort of conclusions to what was wrong, but just gave me an appointment to come back in a couple of days. I had to have eye drops put in to dilate my my pupils. Um, and then I had lots of really horrible bright lights and flashing things showing on my eyes where they were looking to see what was going on. Uh, again, didn't give me any conclusive results of what was going on, but sent me away. And I came back a few days later um, and it pretty much resolved the other thing I'd also had as well was um a color blindness yes I'd lost I didn't realize this but I'd lost uh the, the vision the ability to see color in that left eye as well I didn't know that until they gave me a color blind test uh they gave one of those books to look through with the different patterns in and with my right eye it was absolutely the way I would normally see it. I could see the contrast with my left eye everything was gray um so I didn't even realize that I'd lost the, the sort of color in my eyes or the vision the ability to see color at that point um but then yes yeah, so about two weeks it had completely resolved um there was a little bit of residual le- lack of uh, ability to see contrast in colors but that was it nothing no more no more problems after that it just resolved and I was told it was optic neuritis um somebody did mention at that point that it could be one of the first symptoms of MS and I think I probably had been on Dr Google and and discovered that for myself but nothing else was said about it it was that was it it was away you go and but then fast forward in two years um I then woke up another day and um, I found that my vision was really blurry. This was a completely different experience though. So it wasn't with the pain and it wasn't with the black spot. It was just this kind of sense that I didn't even realise to begin with, but I guess I could see double with everything. So there were just two of everything. Everything had like a blurry second outline. Um, so I actually bumped into a friend on the way to the school on the school run and she's an ophthalmologist and told her what was going on and she sent me straight to the eye hospital where I was assessed there and um, after a morning spent being having my eyes looked at and doing all sorts of visual visual tests um, I was told that I had um, what's called a sixth nerve palsy so the way the eyes work I didn't know this at the time but they work in pairs the nerves work in pairs rather so the, the nerve on the sixth nerve on this eye, uh, on my right eye, uh, was basically stopping my eye from turning back out towards sort of this side of my face. So my pupil just turned in constantly towards my nose and it was just the problem with the sixth nerve. So they knew straight away that it, what was causing it, but they didn't know what the cause of the sixth nerve palsy was. So then it was a case of having some tests to, to sort of reveal what was going on. So that wasn't instantaneous. Um, she sort of sent me for an MRI quite quickly and said quite, quite sort of there and then that the, 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 obviously the three options I mentioned earlier on which could be sort of brain tumour myasthenia uh, gravis or MS with probably the three likely causes but they wouldn't know straight away so I had a lot of tests done and then I had the MRI done and then the MRI came back with quite quickly actually with uh, with the results we came back quite fast for that with the lesions uh, showing so then I was uh, yeah a couple of months later I was given the official diagnosis of, of MS. 